guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very good today and I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, today it's actually very chilly here where I am and it is actually starting to snow. So um, it's been kind of cold and that's why we've had some of uh, the strong winds that we've had here. And thank you guys for stopping by. Today we are going to be reading Proverbs 22. And um, so I guess let's get started. If we look at verse 5, it says, The lives of evil people are like paths covered with thorns and traps. People who protect themselves don't have such problems. So this is saying that the path of evil people, like the path that they take since they don't decide to take God's path, um, their path has like... Um, thorns and it has like um difficult things along the way and here it's not saying that those who believe in god don't don't have a difficult time but it's saying that we will protect ourselves and we don't have that many problems or we do have those problems but we're not we're not as like um worried because we know that we have god and that he's gonna help us um like overcome all those obstacles but the people who don't have God be hard for them to overcome it because it says that um, they will have like things along the way that will make it harder for them then I love this verse I think it's probably one of my favorite verses in Proverbs 22 it is Proverbs 6 and it says train a child how you how to live the right way then even when he is old, he will still live that way. I love this verse because it is telling us that, um, it's telling the father that you should always, like, um, let, like, teach your son with the spirit of God and that you should always, like, lead him in those paths because if you do, the child will forever, like, be like that. And he will always, like, be good and follow God. So... I also really like verse 10. It says, get rid of pers of the person who makes fun of wisdom. Then fighting crows and insults will stop. Um, Remember guys, in a few of the past verses that we have read, I think it was 18, it was either 17, 18, or 19, one of those three, that we talked about how uh, it's not good to start quarrels and it's not good to start arguments. So right here, I love that it says to get rid of the person that makes fun of wisdom, like that no fights have to start. I also like um, the verse 28, and it says, don't move an old stone that shows where a person's land is. These stones were set up by your ancestors. I love this because it's saying like, don't change the past that you have with someone because that past was created with your ancestors. So just try to make that past better, but um, like that relationship, like your ancestors made that relationship with that person. So like try to make it better, I think it's what it's saying. Like um, try to make, you can't change the past, but you can like, m like don't move an old stone up but you can you can change the future so you're like you can't change the past but you can change the future that's kind of what it's saying i also love that it's in verse 29 it says do you see a man skilled in his work that man will work for kings he won't have to work for ordinary people i love this part because it's saying like do you see the people who are skilled at their work so this is talking about like the people that are skilled with working and like pleasing God. So it's saying that those people, the ones that have amazing skills, it's saying that we will work for the king and that we're not ordinary people. So it's saying that those who follow Christ are not ordinary people and that we're going to follow and we're going to work for the king, which that's um, Jesus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow or in the next video. Bye bye.